all right guys so welcome back to video number two now here we're going to open up the farin as soon as i figure out where i can stand again thank you to my buddy jason he is he's really 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 helped me with a lot of this choosing <laughs> We spoke about pharynx. I looked at the Sakudu, uh that's how you pronounce it. Um, I looked at a couple other brands also. You have a USA Trailer, a couple brands that make pharynx for the V-Star 1300. I looked at USA Trailer. I looked at, um, um, I think you have Memphis Shades, they make one. I'm not sure if theirs has a radio in it, might have. And then I looked at the reckless motorcycle fairings. And for me, I liked the fitment of the reckless motorcycle fairings the most. So this was definitely the fairing brand that I decided that I would go with. Now here, we're just going to unbox it. Uh, I did have to get the brackets for to fit it up on my bike. I have to take my fairing off and do some fitment things just to make sure everything fits up the way it should. I have to make sure the brackets fit up the way they should. Um, so, without that said, let's cut the tape. With that said, let's cut that tape. All right. Let's make our little slice here. Now I'm down the middle. Now I did choose the Reckless Farin with the, I did get their power harness just because I it's just so much simpler. I can just run the power harness straight to the bike. I can run it straight to the bike and then on back to the front to the Farin. And that just seemed to be really simple to me. So I just went with that. I just figured I would go that route. Alrighty, so we're gonna open it up. Don't think I'm gonna pull the fairing out just for simplicity reasons. It's easier for me to just keep it in here. But let's pull some of the bags out. It did come with the choice of two shields, as you can see, as I'll show you. I believe one was a 10 and one was like a 4, I think, or something to that effect. So, if I'm not mistaken. They are a U.S. company made out of, uh, made in Tennessee. Okay, here we go. So, you know, you have one shield that is a 10 inch. 10 inch round, like more of that oval. And then this one, this is, is this opened or, oh, it's sealed. All right, I'm gonna leave this sealed for now. Um, and then you have the second shield, which as you can see here, that's outlined. That's a much shorter one. I believe that was a, was that a, a five inch? I believe you, you had a choice of two, two shields. So um, you have this 10 inch and then you have the five, so just cool but we'll see how those work out on the fairing when I have them all right so that's that and then we have the fairing itself okay really good packing here as you can see packing is really nice pretty light 
Okay. As we can see there. Somebody's running a mower. Gotta be my neighbor. Okay. You can see the back portion. Alright, so. Now, let's just we can open this up a little bit here. Tape. All right. Really good packing, as you can see there. I mean, I don't even have to tell you that. You see it for yourself. It's not just thrown in the box and, and sent out to you. They really put the time to pack this thing up really nice. Now, of course, I got to do the paint and I got to work on that. I've been doing a lot of research on painting. I'm just trying to think. Ow! Be careful. Cutting this open. All right. And here, all right, so you can see pretty much for the most part what it looks like. All right, and here's your fairing connector. Here is their harness here. All right. That's their harness that they give you. you connect to the battery straight up to here. And I like that. I definitely do like that. All right, it comes with the fuse block. And you have the connector there. And we have some other bits and pieces in here. There's a little bit of wiring in here. Oh, okay. This is for your radio. Okay, so you connect your radio up to here. All right. And your cutouts. You just have to do your my speaker uh, cuts into there. You have your radio cuts here. Which looks pretty good. Looks like that should be good, hopefully. Okay. And there's another little package. I'm really not going to unbox this any further than that. Uh, mainly, mainly because I was going to keep it in there until I get to the installation phase. And at the installation phase, we'll be putting it on the bike. So that will be, these might be the brackets, your mount brackets. That's what I'm thinking they are because I don't see them on there. Yep, these are your mount brackets. Okay, cool. Alrighty, cool deal. So, all right. Looking good. Looking good. All right. All right, guys. So, I thank you guys for taking the time to watch. Now, in the next installment, we will be removing the stock fairing and fitting up the stock windshield brackets to the v-star and then from there we will be working on getting the rear part of this fitted up onto the bike <clears throat> and then after that we can start on painting the front all right youtube thank you guys for checking out the reckless fairing unboxing like i said i'm not going to pull it out any more than this only because 
before I do pull it out, I want to make sure I have somewhere that I can set this down and it can pretty much stay there. So for right now, it's better off being in there. It could stay in there. Less marks, less things, less chances of anybody kicking it or anything like that. So, all right, so stay tuned. I'll try and get more videos up as I can and I'll try and keep them as short as I can. So thank you guys for watching. You take care and I'll see you in a bit.